Right, so this is our second collaboration video. Um, the other channels, if I've done this right, they should be scrolling up here somewhere. And I'll also put the links to their channels in the description below. So this one, what, what's it called? Van Life Summer Essentials. Right, <coughs> okay. Um, now this was a bit of a difficult one for us because we don't do anything much different in summer than we do in winter, do Not we? Not really, no. Uh, so, yeah, we'll do as best with this and run through some of the stuff that we use. Right, what shall we go with first? Sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. I need this because I can remember one time we went away with the Baileys and his mum and dad and I was sat outside and it was really hot and my hair was hot like down here. And the next day my face was really red with a white streak down here. So I need to wear sunscreen. Kids sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> it's good enough for a child, it's good enough for me. Right, okay. <laughs> so that. Right, next. When it's hot. Well, that's yours. Yeah. <clears throat> when it's really hot, I've got this fan which has <coughs> rechargeable batteries in it so I can put it onto the, whatchamacallit, that lead? Charging that lead. Plug-in thing. <laughs> What's plug-in thing? That goes in that thing. Right, a USB lead. That one. <laughs> and it's lovely. And it's like, so quiet. Even full. And this is even good in winter when I have energy boosts which it <laughs> when I get hot flushes <laughs> so that that's this <laughs> where did you get that from I got it from work <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it back <laughs> right so I suppose the other thing um, people relate to summer is a barbecue now we use ours all year round don't yeah. we You've probably seen on some of the other videos where we've cooked Christmas dinner on it. Um, so the one we use, and it's probably the best one we've had, isn't it? Yeah. Is the cob. Um, it's a proper barbecue. It has charcoal in it. I know some people use these gas ones that plug in the side, but to me, just that's just like using a gas a, hob. Yeah, a gas hob or an oven or something like that. They don't really taste charcoal barbecue, do they? So the cob. This is the fuel for it a round charcoal block that's ready in about 10 minutes to cook on and it lasts what two hours easy yeah, yeah so you could do a good joint of meat on it and you've probably seen if you watch the christmas video we've now got a rotisserie for it that's great for doing chickens it is isn't it yeah. yeah this was something i picked up in aldi's or lidl's um we bought one for home and we bought another one for here um this is great we use it at home, we put strips of uh, belly pork on, don't we? And bang it in the oven. But this will be good on the barbecue. But the good thing is for the van, that's where it packs down to. So you've got your big rack and then your skewers go across it. So it, it takes up no room at all. So that'll either go in the oven or it'll go on the cob, won't it? Yeah, okay. yeah. So that's, I think that was about... Was it fibre? Fiver. Just left in a fiver, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. If you see them in Aldi's or Lidl's or whichever, they're worth getting one for a oh, fiver. Brilliant. Yeah, the one thing that barbecues attract and summer attracts is flies. I can hate them. I absolutely hate flies. So, the one thing I've got that'll protect the food from the flies is these. We've got some of these. So when the food's cooked, you can just do this if I could do it right there you go yay and you put it over your food I know pesky little flies can get in there and get it I've got a few of those where do you get them from Amazon right. <laughs> love Amazon yeah so they're brilliant and they just fall down flat well, other online shopping channels are available <laughs> yeah and to try and 
keep flies away, we've got a couple of citronella candles. It says it's for outside use only. Let's get it lit. <laughs> Used quite a bit of this so far. And it does actually seem to keep them away. And I've got this one that I've got in this jar because this is, I think it's an inside one, is this? It is now. Put it in a jar because when we had it outside, the wind kept blowing the damn candle out. So we just have those going outside. It tends to keep them away. But if we don't keep the netting shut the door, they tend to come in here. Yeah. Which is where we have other things to get rid of them. <laughs> That's a last resort. Yeah. So, fly spray. <laughs> How many of you have sprayed this in the van? It's absolutely horrendous. It smells for days, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so them candles. So them candles. So, the only thing we've found, if you've got them in here... ...is good old-fashioned flypapers. We've only used that once, I must admit. But we'd been somewhere and we'd got tons of damn flies in here. Mm. The loads, weren't there? Yeah. I kept, kept trying to show them out, but they wouldn't go. And we, ended, we, had, we parked up for about a week. The van on its own. Yeah, yeah. So we just hung one of those up in here and just left them to it. Yeah. When we came back, they're all on there. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, don't don't spray this stuff in your van. It's horrendous. Get some of these. Yeah, but be careful because you don't want to be walking into it when it's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, especially after a few pints. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, anyway, that's what we've been using. But we've now got a new secret weapon. Uh -huh. right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which you totally love. <laughs> I'm at a go to it. Yeah. I don't yet. I can't, I can't load it properly. Can you not? No. Right, we'll show you where it is. So this is a new weapon. It's called a bug assault. So basically you fill it up with salt. Load it. Release a safety catch, switch on the laser sight, and then get your fly, get in the sight of your laser, and <laughs> one dead fly. <laughs> Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> so, that's our summer essentials. <laughs> Let us know what yours are. I'll be back. <laughs> oh my god.